Nida, have you heard the latest Jason in the office? What, Jess? Ah, the CEO daughter is coming soon. And I had rumors that any branch she goes to, she goes to supervise, but she's actually a cunning person too. And I heard anytime she comes, there's always a promotion. Always a promotion. So I want you to be at the best behavior. Trust me. I trust you. Oh, oh, good thing you're here, Erin. There's a rumor going around the office that uh, the CEO's daughter is coming around. Oh, okay. And there's another rumor that she's coming around and there's a promotion. Oh, that's right. I want you to be on your best behavior. Cool. Okay, I need to leave now. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Thanks. Okay, yeah, you're welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. You're Linda. Yes, I am. And you're Harry. Yes, ma'am. Very good. I've already met with Mr. James. I want to have a brief meeting with you all. Meet me in my office right now. Okay, ma. You all are welcome. I'm sure you know I'm here. There is a branch promotion. The head of operation has been transferred. So, therefore, the three of you basically fit that position. But I'll be picking from whoever impresses me the most. This is a personal interest. So, I will just do my observations and pick whoever deems fit. You all are dismissed. Linda, please wait behind. You're the head of marketing department, right? Yes, ma. Please have your seat. So tell me, whatever figures you write down from marketing is what the head office approves, right? Yes, ma. But this is after we must have done the market um, visibility and budgeting. And then we check around for any other thing we need and then send everything over to the head office. Then they will give us the necessary provisions. So how much do you usually request from the head office? $10,000, ma'am, per month. Hmm. That's good. $10,000 budget for a month. Um, I would like you to increase it to $15,000 and you will give me the extra $5,000 that is on it. What? Yes, you heard me, right? Okay, fine. Let me make it much clearer. You take $10,000 for budget in a month, right? I want you to increase it to $15,000 and give me the extra $5,000. That is on it. It's simple. But, Ma... But what? Have you forgotten? I'm the one who is to recommend somebody for the head of operation. Or don't you want that position? I, I do. I do, ma. Mm -hmm. Very good. So then you must play the big game with me. Uh, ma, the thing is, I, I, I can't do this alone. So usually when I get the budget ready before i send it over the accountant has to sign so it means that i actually can't do this alone ma so tell me who is this accountant um that would be mr henry ma'am hmm. why don't we invite him to the meeting let me call him ma after listening to all that you've said I must say, I'm sorry I can't do it. Are you telling me you can't manipulate simple $5,000 in addition to $10,000 the company gives you for adverts every month? 
even if your promotion depends on this? Ma, like I said earlier, I can't do it. <sighs> you know, asking you for your signature is just a sign of formality. My signature oversees yours. Well, still the more reason why I said it's not something I'm willing to do. <sighs> and what if you lose your job? Because I'm the boss and I can fire you. Well, if that's going to be the case, I don't mind. The last thing I want to do is go against my conscience and my moral compass. Fine, so be it, as you said. I can see you're not smart. You can go back to your office. Thank you. Linda, my dear, I see you're a very smart lady. Yes, ma'am. And you want the promotion, right? I do, ma'am. Good. You know what? Just get me the document. I will sign them and forward it to the headquarters myself. It's pretty simple. All right, ma'am. All right, there. Smart lady. What was the meaning of that that you tried in there? What did I do? What did you do? How can you reject such an offer? The boss was trying to offer you a promotion and you said to let your stupid and useless principle get in the way. Look, call it whatever it is, my principle still remains my principle. Your principles remain your principle. Are you kidding me? You turned the boss down just because of useless principles. Do you realize the number of benefits this promotion comes with? A house a car, an increase in salary, in fact, a much better life than the useless one you're living right now. And you denied yourself all of that because of principle. Look, let me tell you something. I'm the one who is actually disappointed in you for allowing yourself to succumb to manipulation just for a promotion. I don't blame you. What they say is true. Some people are actually destined to be poor. You're one of them. That's fine. Live your life. Poverty. Mom, you sent for me. James, right? Yes, ma'am. I see you're the head of logistics. Yes, I am. How long does it take you to acquire goods and distribute them to retailers? Um, on normal cases, it takes us a week, but on rare cases, it takes us a week and two days. And how much are you being given for distribution? It's a lot of money, ma'am. We are actually being given $20,000, but sometimes we get $25,000. Does this include miscellaneous? Definitely, ma'am. Very good. I would like you to make it $35,000. But why, Ma? Because I said so. You see, everyone is sorting his or her own pocket. And right now, there is a branch promotion on ground. And my recommendation is very vital. So you do as I say. Take it to $35,000 and give me the increment on top. Or oh, don't you want the promotion? Honestly, ma'am, I think I want the promotion. Mm. But there's a little issue on ground. And what could that be? Mr. Henry is in charge of accounting. Mr. Henry. And honestly, ma'am, his signature will be needed. Mr. Henry. That's fine. I'll call him to join us right now. Okay, ma'am. Just give me a minute. 
There's another situation here where we need you to sign some regular figures. Ma, I don't understand. Mr. James, please explain to him. Okay, it's based on distribution of the gold. Now, initially, we work with around twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, but we we'll need an increment of thirty-five thousand dollars, and we we'll need you to sign it. That's a differential of about ten thousand dollars. And it's not like there's been any visible inflation in the business or in the economy of any sort. I, Mr. I don't... Herring, the boss insists you do it. And all we need is your signature. Look, I, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Well, I understand that Mr. Henry here does not care if he loses his job or not. But let me tell you, the excesses is not just for me alone. I'll be giving you $3,000, which is equivalent to your monthly salary, if you just participate in this single act. Just by manipulating figures here and there. It's that simple. Ma, it's not like I keep rejecting things from you. I understand that, yes, your father owns the company and you eventually get whatever you want. But I cannot be a party to this matter. I'm sorry, I can't sign it. Henry, are you telling me you want to lose your job just because of this simple tax you were asked to do? Look, I've been in this office for a while and I've asked your colleagues to do the same thing just to manipulate figures here and there and they have been doing it perfectly well. Why is yours different? Or don't you want the good things that comes with it? You know what? Both of you should leave my office. You all are welcome. I've had personal business encounter with some of you. And I must say, some of you are doing well. But why would someone tell me that his moral conduct and discipline is more important than my business? I know I came here for the promotion. And right now, I know those who have my interest at heart. Those I will be recommending for the job and those who will not fit in either. And because of this, I won't recommend any of you except Mr. Henry. What? Ma, this is not possible. Well, even if I'm the CEO's daughter and he knows he could lose his job, he never compromised his moral conduct or his discipline for money or for his selfish interests. He has shown enough reasons, which is why I want him to handle my company and become the branch manager. So I'm sure this will teach the both of you to stay true to your moral conduct and integrity. Wow. I'm so speechless right now. Thank you very much, Ma. No, you don't need to be. You really deserved it. And you've really done well. Thank you, Ma. You both should leave my office. Mr. Henry, please have your seat. Thank you, Ma. Once again, congratulations. Thank you, Ma.